So you must be here after seeing how Elon Musk made a monkey type using just its brain. This futuristic tech seems like it might be miles away, but if a monkey can do it, so can you, right? Not yet though. Here's all you need to know about Neuralink. To understand how Neuralink works, first we have to understand how the human brain works. All communication within the brain happens through electrical signals. These are then transmitted through cells known as neurons, which are the basic building blocks of the brain. But enough with the biology class. Let's delve deeper into how this magic chip interfaces with our brain. By intercepting these electrical signals that pass through the neurons, Neuralink can hook into the electrical system of your brain and decode the information that's passing through it. While we already have machines that can monitor the brain from the outside, Neuralink wants to monitor the brain from the inside. These signals can then be used to transmit information from the brain in a way where other machines can understand it. Hence the monkey typing away using only the signals from its brain. Even with how cool this tech is, this is the real world yaar and that means limitations. It's not viable for someone to implant a huge set of chips in your brain unless you're living in the cyberpunk universe. So what Musk wants to do instead is reduce the complexity of the system so it can become a teeny tiny chip that can then be implanted through a non-invasive surgical procedure. And what can you do with the first iteration of Neuralink? Well, researchers say that the first human test subjects will be those who have lost body parts to accidents. These subjects can then control various bodily implants and prosthetics with the Neuralink chip as it can directly connect the brain signal to the implant. This will then allow the person to control the prosthetic hand almost as well as they can control their real one. So now the inevitable question is when can you get one? Unfortunately, it seems like Mr. Musk will keep you waiting for a while. Human testing will start only in 2023 and approval for use in average people like me and you will probably take years beyond that. But don't put your black mirror dreams on hold just yet. You might have a chip in your head by the end of this decade.